Are you sick of the high prices of batteries and looking for a cheaper alternative for storing your solar energy? Well, you're in luck because in this video, we're going to explore the five best ways to store solar energy without batteries. These alternative energy storage methods are not only cost-effective, but also efficient and sustainable. Solar energy is an incredible source of renewable energy, but it's not always available when we need it. That's why alternative energy storage methods are so important. From thermal storage to pumped hydro to hydrogen fuel cells, we'll dive into the fascinating world of energy storage and discover how it's changing the way we power our homes and businesses. You'll learn about the pros and cons of each storage method and see some real-world examples of how they're being used today. Whether you're a seasoned energy professional or just starting to explore the world of renewable energy, this video is for you. So get ready to be amazed and inspired by the power of alternative energy storage. Together, we'll explore the best ways to capture and store the sun's energy and pave the way for a brighter, cleaner, and more sustainable future. Let's get started. Hydrogen production. Hydrogen production is a method of storing solar energy that's a bit like turning water into wine. Well, not quite, but it does involve using solar energy to split water into hydrogen and oxygen through a process called electrolysis. The hydrogen can then be stored in tanks and used later as a fuel for power generation. And just like wine, hydrogen is a versatile fuel that can be used for a variety of applications, from powering cars to generating electricity. Plus, it's a clean burning fuel that doesn't produce harmful emissions, which makes it a great option for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. However, there are some downsides to hydrogen production. For one, it can be expensive compared to other storage methods, which can make it less appealing for certain applications. Additionally, hydrogen requires special equipment for transportation and storage, which can add to the cost. But despite these challenges, hydrogen production is still a promising option for storing solar energy, and researchers are working to develop more efficient and cost-effective methods. Compressed Air Energy Storage, or CASE Compressed air energy storage is a method of storing solar energy that's a bit like squeezing a balloon. Well, not quite, but it does involve compressing air into a storage vessel, such as a tank or underground cavern. When the energy is needed, the compressed air is released to power a turbine, generating electricity. It's a bit like releasing the air from a balloon to make it fly around the room, only on a much larger scale. One of the benefits of CASE is that it can store large amounts of energy for long periods of time, making it a reliable storage option for utility-scale applications. Plus, it can be a cost-effective way of storing solar energy because it uses simple and inexpensive components. However, there are some downsides to CASE as well. It can have lower energy efficiency compared to other storage methods, and it can also have some environmental impacts, such as the potential for underground air leaks. To mitigate these challenges, researchers are working on developing more efficient and sustainable CASE technologies. For example, some scientists are exploring the use of advanced materials, such as high-strength carbon fiber, to improve the efficiency of the compression process. Others are working on developing more advanced control systems to optimize the operation of the CASE system, making it more efficient and reducing its environmental impact. In addition, some researchers are exploring the potential for using renewable energy sources, such as wind or solar power, to provide the energy needed to compress the air. By using renewable energy to power the compression process, CASE could become even more sustainable and environmentally friendly. Overall, while CASE has some drawbacks, it is still a promising option for storing solar energy. With continued research and development, it has the potential to become an even more efficient and sustainable method of energy storage, helping to meet the growing demand for clean, renewable energy. Thermal Energy Storage Thermal Energy Storage, or TESS, is a method of storing solar energy that's a bit like putting a pot of soup on the stove to keep warm. Well, not quite, but it does involve storing heat in materials like water, molten salts, or phase change materials which can be used later to generate electricity or heat. When solar energy is available, it is used to heat up the storage material, and when the energy is needed, the heat is released to produce steam that powers a turbine. It's a bit like using a pot of hot soup to keep your hands warm on a cold winter day. One of the benefits of TESS is that it can store large amounts of energy for long periods of time. 
making it a reliable storage option for both small and large-scale applications. Additionally, TESS is a highly efficient storage method, with some systems capable of achieving up to 98% thermal efficiency. Furthermore, TESS systems can be designed to fit a wide range of applications, from residential homes to large-scale power plants. However, there are some challenges to implementing TESS systems, such as the cost of the storage materials and the need for specialized equipment. In addition, TESS systems require careful design and engineering to ensure optimal performance and safety. To address these challenges, researchers are exploring new storage materials and developing more efficient and cost-effective TESS technologies. For example, some scientists are experimenting with new phase change materials, such as fatty acids and sugar alcohols that can store more heat and be used in a wider range of temperatures. Others are developing new heat transfer fluids that can improve the efficiency of test systems. Overall, TESS is a promising option for storing solar energy, with the potential to become even more efficient and cost-effective with continued research and development. As the demand for clean, renewable energy continues to grow, TESS is poised to play an increasingly important role in our energy mix, helping to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and create a more sustainable future. Electrochemical Energy Storage Electrochemical energy storage is a method of storing solar energy that's a bit like using a rechargeable battery to power your phone or laptop. It involves converting solar energy into electricity and then storing it in chemical compounds within the battery. When the energy is needed, the chemical reaction is reversed and the electricity is released to power a device or appliance. One of the benefits of electrochemical energy storage is its high energy density, which means it can store a large amount of energy in a relatively small space. Additionally, electrochemical storage can be designed to be rechargeable, making it a convenient and versatile storage option for a wide range of applications. However, there are some limitations to electrochemical energy storage as well. For one, it can be expensive, particularly when used for large-scale applications. Additionally, the materials used in electrochemical storage, such as lithium-ion batteries, can be difficult to recycle, leading to potential environmental issues. To address these challenges, researchers are exploring new materials and designs for electrochemical storage systems. For example, some scientists are working on developing solid-state batteries, which use solid electrolytes instead of liquid or gel electrolytes, making them safer and more efficient. Others are exploring the use of new materials, such as sodium ion or magnesium ion batteries, which may be less expensive and easier to recycle than traditional lithium ion batteries. Overall, electrochemical energy storage is a promising option for storing solar energy, with the potential to become even more efficient and cost-effective with continued research and development. As renewable energy sources continue to play a growing role in our energy mix, electrochemical energy storage will be an important tool for helping to balance supply and demand and ensure a reliable and sustainable energy future. Flywheel energy storage is a relatively new technology that's gaining popularity as an alternative to batteries for storing renewable energy. It works by converting electrical energy into mechanical energy, which is then stored as kinetic energy in a spinning rotor. When energy is needed, the rotor is connected to a generator which converts the kinetic energy back into electrical energy. Flywheel energy storage systems have several advantages over other storage methods. For one, they can discharge energy quickly, making them ideal for providing backup power during brief outages. They also have a long lifespan, with some systems lasting up to 20 years or more. And because they don't use any chemicals, they're very environmentally friendly. On the downside, flywheel energy storage systems can be quite expensive, and they require a lot of space to operate. However, their fast response time and long lifespan make them a promising option for certain applications, such as backup power for data centers or hospitals. So if you're looking for a reliable and environmentally friendly way to store renewable energy, flywheel energy storage might be the solution you've been searching for. Let's dive deeper into how it works and explore its advantages and disadvantages. In conclusion, we've explored four alternative methods for storing energy, pumped hydro, compressed air energy storage, thermal energy storage, and flywheel energy storage. Each of these methods has its own unique advantages and disadvantages, and the best option will depend on the specific application and energy needs. Pumped hydro and compressed air energy storage are well-established technologies with proven track records, while thermal energy storage and flywheel energy storage are newer technologies that are gaining popularity. 
All of these methods offer a way to store renewable energy and help to make our energy systems more reliable and sustainable. As we continue to transition to a cleaner and more sustainable energy future, it's important to explore all of the available options for storing energy. By using a combination of these methods and technologies, we can build a more resilient and sustainable energy system for the future.